Now, uh, we need to ensure that we set the right parameters using our control panel right here because as we mentioned earlier, the ideal temperatures for these fertilized egg to grow depends with the temperatures and the humidity. Now, yesterday and other days, I've always tried to consult for an expert because remember, as a now free farmer, we don't know everything. And this being the first biggest machine we've ever had, but we also need to borrow from our smallest, smallest machine. So we were advised to use for the first for the first 18 days, we are going to need at least a temperature of 37.7 degrees Celsius with a humidity of I need to confer with my notes for that with a humidity of 45%. Now, if you come closer to this machine, I need to show you how we are able to do the setting. So this is controlled by an Arduino system. And the most basic thing you need to know is this button right here is the set button. And this is to be able to adjust either up, down. And if you are OK, then you can press OK. Now, the first thing we need as you can see from this monitor right here, this is our temperature reading. Well, this is our humidity reading. Now, to be able to set this to what we need, we'll be using this uh, small panel right here. So I'm going to hit set and you're going to see it changes. But if I want to start with the temperature side i'm going to scroll with a button down there and then i'll be able to say you can be able to see it start from six if i want to go up it's able to adjust and as we said earlier we need 37.7 degree celsius so this is already 37.9 so what we need is to go down So this is what you need. We need to go down to uh, 37.7 and that's okay. Then we are going to hit OK button. And at this moment, you're going to see the humidity. And for our humidity, we need 45%. So it's already 63. So we need to come down up to 45 and then we're gonna hit okay so you can be able to see our temperature ideal temperature set is 37 while ideal humidity set is 45 so now we have been able to set our temperatures our humidity what is now remaining is the eggs are actually uh, Robert and oh, Robert Rogers. So Robert and Rogers are behind the scenes. They are literally working so hard to ensure that within the next 15 minutes, our eggs are ready. And obviously also later on this evening, I'm going to show you how we also do the candling places, but I'm happy to announce to you all the eggs that we have today at our farm, they are all 100 fertilized, 100, 100 fertilized, 100 sorted, is because we got them from the Research Institute, which is the biggest in Kenya. Now, last bit, other than just setting the temperatures, is to ensure the humidity controls are also controlled. So how do we do that? We do that by water right there. Yes, this is H2O. We can drink it. But again, it's also a very unique aspect to control the humidity. So this is going to go down to our trays right now. Let me show you.
have uh, literally uh, done the setting of the eggs right there. And you can see um, all the trays we have been able to set right, right, right there. You can also see something interesting is uh, the temperatures are literally uh, picking up. Uh, right they are 33 degrees Celsius, where the humidity is dropping at 56. So this is going to go on until uh, the temperatures have able to stabilize. Now I'm super, super, super excited because we have been able to set our egg incubators. We have been able to finalize the eggs. The humidity is literally going down. The temperatures have been able to pick up now. This is the time we need to put our eggs inside the egg incubator. But wait, something you need to know is we are going to start with the lower level, arranging these eggs going up so that we don't have any problem with the placement of our eggs. Now, let me show you how we do that to ensure at least you have a better hatchability and of course your chicks are going to be healthy. Now, um, you've seen how we've been able to place it inside. It's obviously is delicate. The other example I'm actually thinking is, oh, I don't know, maybe you can set your eggs and set here, but it can be difficult to do that. So let's bring the other one as well. That is the most difficult thing to do. Uh, to let Guys, 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 I'm not making this up. This place, like this place right here, it's so hot. You can see my face. I'm literally dripping. That tells you with the room of more than 33 degrees Celsius, it's fantastic. Be careful. Because if you make a mistake, one egg, it's more than 30 shillings. I can't afford that. Who affords that? So we have to be very, very careful with the placement. Now you know. Now, uh, I almost forgot something. Uh, this is the most critical part, and this is what we talk about, the egg countering. We need to know if indeed your eggs have been fertilized or not. But as I said, these are from... Carol, this is a research institute, but we also need to make sure it's in this. So the very first day we are going to check and the next time we are opening this egg incubator will be at day 14 to see if indeed there is formation of our egg. So how we do your candling is simple. You can use your phone and do the lights up like as you can see. You have your eggs like right here. So um, you need to place it directly the eggs to the lights like that and then if it's in evening you'll be able to see if 
there is actually any formation and i can say to you this egg is fat rise because you can see there is one of the most darkest side right there so that's how we are able to confirm your countering and even in the evening you will be able to say even after three days if how it can be formed is a free farmer bye bye